The long end of the Treasury curve has been on fire in a bad way. Of course, we've seen long-term rates really move aggressively higher in the past couple of weeks. And the big question I have still is simply why? Yeah, because it's clear that it doesn't seem like this is driven by a change in the economic outlook. So what is then the drivers? Well, I think that big key drivers are, of course, importantly, that Japan changed yield curve control. So there's probably something about Japanese investors having less appetite for buying U.S. rates now that they get high yields in their own backyards. We also have had the downgrade of U.S. government debt. That may also play a role more on the margins for those investors, in particular real money investors, where the rating does matter more substantially than, say, for hedge funds. Other forces, of course, that also have played a critical role is that we have also had a significant issue still with government debt still being very significant and also budget deficits being significant and the Fed is still doing QT. So there's a long list of of call it non-economic variables that are likely playing a very significant role and therefore to your question likely also the reason why we're beginning to see this strong uptrend in long rates. And it's also interesting that we haven't really seen any haven bid come into the Treasury market, even though we keep getting disappointing news out of China. So when you put that together, should there be a haven bid at this point? How bad could the situation get in the U.S. related to what's going on in China? It is quite surprising, also combined with the stock market. Now today it's up a bit, but the stock market doing relatively poorly, down 5% over the last several weeks, that long rates have just continued to march higher, suggesting that these non-economic factors are actually playing a critical role and in particular on China with both Europe slowing down and also China slowing down it is also surprising that we have not seen more of a bid for US rates China now has fewer remembers to recycle a few dollars to recycle into US treasuries so that might also on the margin mean less demand from abroad but generally speaking you're absolutely right it is a bit of a puzzle why US rates continue to move up so much in the long end